Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use swipeable list items in Android and iOS using Ionic Framework. And uh, Ionic Framework is a uh, framework built upon Apache Cordova if you're unfamiliar with it. So let's go ahead and start by creating a fresh project. So let's go Ionic Start Sample Project blank. And I'm creating this right on my desktop. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to navigate into your project. And then you want to run, uh, you want to add the Android and iOS platform. Um, if you're not using a Mac, you cannot add the iOS platform. That's for Mac users only. So with that said and done, let's go ahead and open our project using your text editor. So navigate to www folder, and we're just going to open up the index.html file. All right. So inside your project, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a new Ionic list. So inside of your ion, ion content, go ahead and add the following. All right, so let's just start with what I added here. So this is the base to an Ionic list. I want, there's two different types of uh, sort of UI animations that you can add. You can add swipeable items and you can also add items where it'll show a delete button if you trigger it. I don't want to show that delete button so I'm setting it to false. However, I want the list to be swipeable so I'm setting can swipe equal to true. So let's go ahead and create a new um, list item. All right. So inside that list item, we're going to go ahead and add the normal text, just like we normally would. But this time, we're actually going to add what is called an ion option button. And ion option buttons are the buttons that will appear after we swipe our list item. So let's go ahead and add a few. All right, so just to get, so that way you get a feel about uh, what I just added. You can actually test this in your web browser. So go ahead and open the index.html file in your web browser. You can see that there's a list item. So I'm gonna swipe it to the left. You can see that our button popped up. And we can go ahead and swipe it to the right and it'll disappear. So let's go ahead and copy and paste. We're gonna add a few more of these buttons. You can actually add as many as you want. Uh, I tend to do about three or four. Oops. All right, I don't know. My tabs are being weird. All right, so I add two more. Let's go ahead and change the icon on them. Let's go ahead and make this an email icon. And let's go ahead and make this a trash icon. And these are from the Ion icons that are bundled with Ionic Framework. For the trash, since this is a risky item, let's go ahead and make it assertive, so that way it'll be red. And let's go back into our, our web page and refresh. If we swipe, oh, we'll notice that the uh, trash is on the left and, and all of our icons are here. So with that said, uh, let's go ahead and, and see what it looks like on the simulator. So let's go ahead and build it.
All right, now with the build, let's go ahead and install it to the simulator using ABB. All right, and let's go ahead and open it. And when we swipe, our buttons are there just like we wanted them to be. So, and you can swipe them back again. So these are just buttons. You can click them and they'll, they'll trigger events. So let's go ahead and make a simple event out of it. Uh, let's go ahead and on the delete, let's go ahead and throw in an ng click in there. All right, now let's go to, well, we're also gonna need to make a controller for this. So let's go ahead and we're gonna call our controller example controller. All right, let's go into our app. Well, we can do following. All right, we have our example controller that we, we planned on using here. And we're gonna go ahead and, and make that delete event. And we're just gonna throw an alert. All right, so if we refresh the page, and we click on this delete button, it'll say that we are alerting and these other buttons won't do anything. Let's go ahead and confirm that everything looks good on our simulator. Oops. And everything does look good on the simulator. And of course the other buttons don't do anything. And just like that you have a, you added an, an extra layer of coolness to your application. And a lot of the time your users will appreciate that because nowadays they expect smooth, uh, highly animated uh, mobile applications that look great.